stones pelted by unidentified people at the house of Union Minister V. Murli Dharan in Tiruvannathapuram. Now, police investigation is underway is what we're picking up so far. In fact, blood stains were found in the car parking space, terrace and stairs of the residence. No one was present at the house when the stones were hurled. As per the office staff, the incident took place last night. So that is... The breaking news that's coming in, what we can tell you so far is that stones were pelted by unidentified people at the house of Union Minister V. Murli Dharan in Trivandrum. Now, we're also picking up uh, so far that the police investigation is underway to really find out what uh, transpired here. But um, no one was present at the house when the stones were hurled, is what we know so far. And as per the office staff, the incident took place yesterday. So when this incident did transpire, as per the initial details, it's being suggested that no one was present. Uh, but at this point of time, we also understand in this particular incident that bloodstains were found in the car parking space, terrace and stairs of the residence. And uh, this is, of course, in connection with uh, the fact that stones were pelted by unidentified people at the house of Union Minister V. Murli Dharan in Tiruvanthapuram. Now, why did this exactly happen and uh, who all are involved? Well, uh, the police is investigating the same to ascertain uh, the cause. But uh, in this particular incident, in fact, just to point out what's really transpired, blood stains were found in the car's parking space terrace and stairs of the residence is what we're picking up so far. But no one was present at the house when the stones were hurled. Let me cut across to my colleague Vivek joining me live on the broadcast. Vivek, good afternoon. You know, as we speak about these details, what is the police, um, you know, revealing so far and what really transpired there? And uh, who are these people behind this particular attack against the union minister? Uh, see, uh, we spoke to the police team as we entered this house and uh, police has just uh, begun the investigation because this incident has supposed to be taken place yesterday late night, uh, somewhere between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. That's during the early hours of the day. So police is, uh, you know, not ready to give any piece of information as we speak right now because they are also under the, uh, you know, suspicion that, uh, you know, this uh, could be a burglary attempt. Uh, but there are people who are also saying that this could not be a burglary attempt. There could be some other intention behind this. But as you can see, on the visuals right now, uh, the the window panes has been damaged, and also you can see blood stains on the ground, and also uh, there is a stone, a granite a, a piece uh, on the ground as you can see here, uh, and the police have begun the investigation. Remember, the forensic team is already here. Uh, the fingerprints uh, are also been uh, taken. Uh, what we uh, suspect, what the police suspect, you know, uh, accordingly, is that uh, they feel that uh, the person would have entered this house uh, and tried to enter. Uh, this house, but uh, somewhere uh, he, uh, you know, he had returned uh, uh, during the uh, late hours of the day, uh, and he has left the spot it, because there was no doors uh, inside the house. There was no door that was uh, forcefully opened, and there was no one present in this house. You know, uh, when when this incident took place, uh, Minister V. Muralidharan was uh, in Delhi, and uh, one of the servant who used to stay here was also not here. Remember, it's at seven o'clock today morning when the one of the servant who came here actually noticed uh, this uh, window panes, you know, lying in such a uh, condition uh, and then uh, she informed uh, the neighbors and then the party men and then the police team actually came here uh, and uh, they started the investigation so basically uh, what is the motto uh, motive behind this uh, attack uh, whom did uh, the person target uh, you know all those things should come under the ambit of the investigation because it's just uh, so around uh, 12 to 13 hours uh, since this incident took place and only by around seven o'clock that uh, you know it came to light so basically it's very uh, premature to say uh, as uh, you know what exactly happened and what was his intention so all those things will come under the ambit of the investigation but shockingly uh, there is no CCTV footage or there is no security in place at this place remember he's a union minister uh, at least a person was supposed to be here earlier there was a person who's supposed to stay here but today yesterday and today uh, there were no one here uh, and that makes it even more uh, shocking uh, minister has yet to comment on this local BJP leaders has also right. not commented right, uh, on this because um, uh, I have to interject Initially you for the moment, but like you did point out, the investigation will, of course, ascertain the cause of the incident. But